You could have sex holiday in the South Country, but not in the North. You will be frozen. <laughs> We're wandering around Yellowknife at night. Meet Graham. And Adam. <laughs> and I'm Luke. And we're headed to Canada's Arctic, the Northwest Territories. So here's how the idea started. What's up? Graham was in Fort McMurray. Adam was in Canmore, <laughs> These and are the I was in St. Thomas, Ontario. To the Northwest Territories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Six days from now, picking that guy with the camera up. I had two flights, and Adam picked me up at the Calgary airport, and we drove to Fort McMurray. The next morning, we packed Graham's truck with all of our gear, tied down the extra jerry cans, and were ready to hit the road. Next stop, Yellowknife. Yeah. Where the, the highway, highway ends. ends. Then yeah. <laughs> we're off. Then <laughs> we're off. We're just Hellbound. leaving Fort McMurray. Um, I don't know, was it like about 11 o'clock? <laughs> leaving Fort McMurray, I saw the oil sands for the first time. They are a hot topic in Canada these days. Yeah, so the paved road just changed, now we're driving on the frozen muskeg. How far are we past Fort McMurray right now? About 100 kilometers north. We just crossed the ice over the Firebag River, heading north. We're making progress. I'm really liking this road so far. We're just cruising and it's smooth and winding and up and down. Leave it outside with the snow as I can, eh? <laughs> no, don't do that. That's the plan. You could yeah. pack that holiday in the South Country, but not in the North. <laughs> you will be frozen. Yeah. Of course. Your son. Nice work, but in here you can't do it. No. Half an hour the frozen. Yeah. You can't take half something on it. I don't believe in you. We're in the Arctic, boys! Yeah. Not really, not yet. <laughs> we still have to find a place where we'll be able to build an igloo and camp tonight. So, it's getting darker and we don't know where we're going to spend the night. And we're probably going to hit negative 30. But we fueled up with a little bit of coffee. Met some of the local madmen. Oh, I'm coming. Here we go. It was getting late, and we pulled over to camp for the night. Yeah, so we uh, just got off the highway to Fort Smith, and uh, ended up coming down some small road that not enough room to turn around on, and pretty deep snow, and we really had to push through it in the 4x4. Four four. Gonna set up camp here now. Also, just so rich. <laughs> like, get a good exposure on the trees. Burger wraps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're looking over Pine Lake. We just fried up some burgers on the braai. 
Yeah, bro. I'm gonna go to spend the night in a tent. It's like eating snow, but it's infused with vitamins. <laughs> the lettuce is completely frozen. It's just like eating chips. Yeah, one good thing about the cold is there's no bugs. Even though we were high enough in latitude, we didn't see the aurora. It's 4.30 a.m. and I'm somewhere in the northeast corner of Alberta in Wood Buffalo National Park. And I've had to leave the other two in the tent and come into the truck because I've got piercing pain in my feet from the cold. Just seeing our campsite in the daylight for the first time. And this stunning sunrise that's rising over Pine Lake is incredible. Wow. So we're just packing up. We had a nice night at Pine Lake. Beautiful day again. You alright? Welcome to the Northwest Territories. Welcome to the Northwest Territories, bro. Yeah. We're just getting a coffee in Fort Smith before heading out and going further on to Hay River and Yellowknife. Yeah, Yellowknife is a try. 740k. I totally misjudged that. What's up? Just filling up the beast there and we're gonna head up to Hay River. About 270 kilometers. See a little nip in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Minus 25. <laughs> so we stopped at Little Buffalo River Falls, took a look, still fairly frigid out. It's not getting any water. Cheers, Graham. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Adam. Cheers. Yeah. Beef stew. Maple syrup beans with potato and steak. Gravy in the Northwest Territory. Yeah. side of the road between Hay River and Yellowknife. We're probably all going to end up sleeping in the truck tonight. It's the next morning and we're trying fruitlessly to make any kinds of breakfast because minus 29 makes it very difficult to cook anything. So I think we're just going to have to hold on to Yellowknife. So we just crossed the Mackenzie River over the Dead Chill Bridge. And now we're heading on to Fort Providence. We just spotted some bison on the side of the road. We're getting some pictures. Bison in the snowbank, just chilling. I can't imagine lying in the snow like that all winter. I'm getting cold just out here for five minutes. There's a little bit of ice on the road at minus 34. We are 
just arrived in Yellowknife and we're looking for a place to stay tonight and a good place to find some food. And hopefully the Northern Lights go off tonight. Because they haven't for the past two. But maybe tonight's the night. <laughs> Not too much room to spare. Stop, 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 stop. We got into our hotel in Yellowknife and uh, steering was feeling pretty hard. I noticed there's some oil coming out. I think something to do with the power steering is... Is that the power steering uh, area? We just made it to our hotel room, but because we had hotel difficulties earlier, it's not the biggest hotel room as you can see. What do you think? It's going to be cozy. <laughs> We made it. <laughs> yeah. All of us in this little room. Check it out. <laughs> pretty, pretty sweet. We got one big bed for three. One big bed for three of us. So I had a shower and feel absolutely amazing after spending the last like three or four days in the same clothes. Probably information you didn't want to know. Now you feel it hit you, eh? We're looking for the Wildcat Cafe. Is it over here? We're wandering around Yellowknife at night. And then it's just right there. I can't remember. Oh, Closed. Cheers, eh? Yeah, cheers. To yellow knife, to the knife. This is great slave whitefish with a maple glaze. Very, very, very sweet maple glaze. Cheers. 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 They are here. You go outside and just breathe in. Like, I, I expect like, somebody to come up and give me a bill. Like, here's a bill. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you took like five bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You're breathing our air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we saw you take two breaths. Yeah. Like, we just spent the last like no, no, I don't know, no, six hours driving through the trees. Like, like, it's it's just much bizarre here. Yeah. I mean, people like I mean, all their truck cars <laughs> and you leave them uh, running all the time. It's like, oh man. yeah, he's freaking out because of that. Say, you actually uh, have to though, because if you uh, don't leave it running, it might not start. I know otherwise. Uh, Probably will die. We actually had our truck running all last night. Don't tell them. No, it was running. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. I'm junior, so I don't mind being controversial. But we camped. We slept in the truck last night. Yeah. We, like I wanted to sleep in the igloo. Slept in the truck. Yeah, that's true. We yeah. were like halfway we between here and Hay River. So I just got back to the hotel after a good time at the pub with Adam and Graham and some locals. And the bartender was great. He was telling us stories and giving us insights on Yellowknife. And uh, I'm feeling just exhausted, so I'm gonna hit the hit the hay. Adam and Graham are still out on the town. Last I heard, they were hungry and looking for hamburgers. Good night. We're just packing up out of the hotel room. We gotta go down, it's almost noon. All right, just leaving the inn. We are going into the most northerly Tim Hortons in the world. Is that? Probably is. <laughs> Unless there's another one in town. I was just pulling on the big lake there, and just I feel yeah. about half a kilometer to stick to this side of the lake. Yeah. It's pretty deep there. Just I catch a lot of lake trip. Mag medium? Yeah, medium. Okay. On our first day in Yellowknife, we wanted to get out and see the surrounding area. We're just starting on the Ingram Trail, leaving Yellowknife, and gonna drive on some ice and go ice fishing on some lakes. The first attempt at ice fishing wasn't a success. 
so we cooked up burgers again. How do you feel about cooking at negative 34? <laughs> feel uh, pretty warm. Crispy. Yum. Burger wraps. I think you think this is because having the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That right there is how to make hamburgers in the negative 30s. That night, out on a frozen lake, we were in for a serious treat. They're, yeah, they're just moving. Northern Lights are just going off right now. It's mental out there. They're going from one side of the sky right over our heads all the way to the other. And I took some time lapses, but I'm absolutely froze. My camera sounded it like it was working in slow motion. There's so much frost on here. The shutter would go click, click. But I got some amazing, amazing shots of Northern Lights. I'm so stoked. Bang. <laughs> well, that was, that was amazing. Across the whole still, sky. Still going off in the camera. It yeah. doesn't work right now. Really go, like 9, 9.30? Like an hour ago, I'd say 9.30 was kind of the point. Yeah, it's 10.30 now. Yeah. We're brushing our teeth. Getting ready for another night in the truck. <laughs> How did you sleep last night? Pretty good. Slept all right in the truck. McDonald's for breakfast. Yeah. Laptop club for McDonald's. It's in full swing. There's Graham over there. Gaming away. We're being very productive and getting uh, our showing, getting our work out. We're getting ready to take a take a shot, group shot of us in front of the yellow knife sign. What we got? Three different cameras going for three different angles. We got all the paparazzi covered. We made it to yellow knife. Woo! Yellow knife. We are crossing the ice road over yellow knife bay to Detta. 32,000 kilograms of truck could be on this ice. What are we doing? We're about to uh, tow behind the truck on the uh, Great Slave Lake, the Dead Ice Road. Yes. Good snow. Yeah. Nice white powdery snow. Yeah. Pretty still. Getting ready for another northern night. It's gonna be long and cold. 